Here for the top-up show at Ramwick. Bloody windy, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spring day though. Okay, Mark. Yeah, we found a spot just out of the wind here, Glenn, it's in the uh, uh, Kitty's Playground. 50k westerly. Well, it looks a bit southwest. Um, or west south, west uh, from the flags up there, which, um, it, look, it's hitting the horses on the outside of the side there as they come around the turn. Um, it's sort of, uh, they're, they're sort of running into it before they turn away from it or turn in, you know, turn with it. Yeah. So um, I think with the eight metre rail, that, that will certainly assist the inside. I, look, I wouldn't want to be a leader really running into it, although we'll, 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 um, we'll get to see Nash today, who gets down so low on his horse, doesn't yeah. he? He's, he's, uh, he's the, the most aerodynamic rider we've got. And he's also the big firmer in the first. Yeah, Dash is, uh, is pressing, pressing hard there into 350 overnight, or from its overnight pros. And, um, you know, I, look, it's a, it's a race to really savour. Have you got any uh, fresh thoughts on this race? Or you're, um, you're very bullish about... Uh... Well, so Pandemic's got a great chance, Mark, but I, after finishing all the tapes, like, Pandemic, let's just go through the stats, okay? Going up 200 metres with 21 days off, mm -hmm. then 21 day period has been disgusting for the blue collars. Again, yesterday at Wong, I think they had the one winner by head. Um, uh, the, the <laughs> go, go, go back and watch your tape. Might as well have lost. You just, it wasn't a win at all. Go back and, and yeah, it cracked up in the, with the proper bias there. Oh look, it had everything, everything yeah. go its way. They, they took a dollar ninety-seven as they jumped, and uh, it uh, just put its head down on the line. Go back and do your tapes on pandemic. Yeah, it looks expo look. A lot of these horses look really good through the line because of the dopey call, and carrying on like he's, you know, up there. I won't even make comment. But go and look at the form, and the form is Maddie Rock ran second. The jury's out there with me. But Exotic Ruby ran third. Legless Concrete. Couldn't get to the bend yesterday, Canberra. Mate, Irish Songs was off in the well. No, but Irish Songs was... Uh, making Whoopi. Irish Songs and all cylinders. Fail, 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 fail. It won't be winning the first. It was six to four fail. I'll get a fucking job if number two wins. One's, one main go there are... Uh, and uh, three and four are going to get down to the parade and work out. No other numbers, Marcus. Race two, uh, and I was wrong. The, the favourite didn't get a start. So, um... Oh, you know. light scratchings, Mark. Only the four overnight. Did Wall sleep in? He must have. He about been like last on the drink, did you, Chrissy? You forgot to scratch all yours? Oh, I bet he was out on the track. Uh, apparently, he uh, it's well known, yeah, not he, by us, that he walks the track. Uh, well, he doesn't walk, he jogs it. Yeah, jogs the track. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, it's awesome. Uh, Lady Demi and Charlotte's Heart are the firmers. They're uh, two yeah. of the recent highway runners. Coming out of the same race, Charlotte's run a charge through the line. And Lady Demi, it was particularly unlucky in that race. But is it the sort of horse that's always? Is it like a? Is it like um, Zador? What's that thing? Zadora. Um, yeah, Zadora. Yeah, which we've lost today. Yeah. Look, it, it is. You know, they are what they are. Uh, Nick Anita is uh, his last chance with me today in the highway. Race three, and Miss Invincible is on her way out, as you forecast. And Bare Naked Lady's off the map into 460. Well, that's getting right in now. There, Bare Naked Lady. Um, Nash gets complete control there now, though. I mean, I hated it yesterday, and now I'm starting to do my head in. Break yeah, myself up. well, see, the thing is, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's an eight metre rail, but it, it's, it's against leaders for mine, so we'll see, we'll get to see what he can oh, do. Seven still for there for me, Ballistica is flying. Beyond. Well, we've got, uh, we've got two last start midweek winners there on Ballistica and uh, Quarkini, and uh, Blur Roach is having his first start for Snowden, and by Bare Naked Lady gets the all time suck. It's, uh, it's an interesting race. Another interesting race. Uh, race four, Master Ash, the horse of interest, into 550. Baller is um, is around the 250 mark. Uh, one of Gord's Montes for the day. Again, I checked the tapes last night. Baller, it couldn't get past Caspi. It was awful. It was awful. I realise it's from the show county it's, back into it's back not, into a 78. It's not immoral to get past Noble Joey. <laughs> it's not immoral to get past. Uh, I didn't realise how good Master Ash went. It's trial sensational. Originally, I was the uh, all too free. I'm now Master Ash from all too free. Okay, that's, a, that's an interesting um, reassessment there. Um, Kiyomichi's had some fans um, in luck. the Libertini race. Uh, is it the worst Golden Slipper winner we've ever seen? Probably not. No, it's, they're, they're it all is. Pretty this is the, the jam. Come on, look, it, it won on a heavy track at Rose Hill, it repeated on a heavy track, and then ran third in the, the size on a heavy track. It's, you know, it is what it is. Okay. You know, I think it's very honest when it gets when it gets uh, suitable conditions. So going conditions. forward, Golden Slippers, we're not looking for Lusker, so we're looking for anything. Look, every time a filly wins it, you go, oh, this is not much of a year. Because the idea is that uh, if that if that group can progress, 
then ideally it should be a, a you know a cult asserting dominance. But you know the fact that the Phillies have been able to win so many slippers, particularly recently, mm. suggests that that you know we're dealing with pick up sticks. Okay. Uh, Libertini for me there. I'm actually going to take the dollar thirty if they bet it. I ne and I never ever do it. It's, it yeah, I, I can't conceive them betting it, but I suppose it is uh, it is uncharted territory. Well, uh, a bit of money for Kia Michi. It was a dollar twenty four this morning. I suppose so. Maybe they'll take the dollar. Yeah, well, look, I suppose you know, given the, given the windy conditions, uh, pump, you know, it's 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 like a wet track, isn't it? It's, a, yeah. it's something is something well, has I'll changed. Get, I'll have two thousand on to win six hundred, and then you'll. I won't be watching the race, I'll be in the uh, men's toilets, crawling behind a toilet bowl, just with my ears closed, just come out and hear the result, because I, 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 I suffer badly taking short odds, Mike, I hate it. But yeah. just You're better off not to watch the race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like big football punters, most of them never watch the game. Oh, they it's do, torture, isn't it? Well, they do the replays. Hmm. Yeah. How, how would you watch the game? You watch the ref do this, and oh. uh, torture. 90 minute photo finish. <laughs> Red Zell, the firm are in the, uh, in the Concorde. Not surprised, uh, one. Not surprised? Yeah, because the more I thought about it, this... If he'd backed up, what's the horse that won during the week at Randwick? 1,000 metres, Royal... Um, oh yeah, your Royal Witness. Would have won this race. Because the, we've got six great horses here, everyone's dead. <laughs> I'm telling you, every single horse will not be trying to ape, but something has to win the race. That's what comes back to Led Zell, because he goes, every horse is racing for $161,000, how's anything going to try? I'm not saying one horse won't try, I'm saying every they're horse won't. They're trying, but they're not there to win. That's what I mean. Yeah. Royal Witness would have won. <laughs> okay. I would have backed up Zamadow back in distance, back to the 1,000. <laughs> I'm telling you, Zamadow would have won this race. Well, speaking of Zamadow, he's, in, he's obviously uh, uh, second up uh, coming back from the group one. Blah, 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 blah. Girl Tuesday, the horse of interest here in uh, overnight markets. Um, I suppose she's just sucking along with different form. It's yeah, interesting. You know, it, it, it looks a bit climber. It's beat Bangkok, and you go, well, okay, right. So we're going to chomp it off beating Bangkok. I'm, uh, I'm interested in Sammy now. Hard in your mouth stuff there at the dollar ninety with the blue colours and It's Obviously, best horse in the race and hard to beat, but it'll be... and you know it does depend on these conditions because you know he is cutting the breeze here. I don't know, like. It, it just seems a hard day for leaders, despite the fact they've got an eight new rail. What a great day. Get out of your punning, punters. Dreamforce, uh, one of Roy Gord's boyfriends in the uh, the penultimate, is the horse of interest. Tiago Shark hasn't got out too far yet, but uh, we'll wait to see uh, the whites in their eyes, Glenn. Yeah, can't wait to see these horses. Um, I'm interested in Sleepy Bowman on Colding and uh, Invincible Gem. Yes, Invincible Gem for me, and in the uh, nightcap, Re-edit, Gord's uh, off the map. Gordon Brock Ryan, their uh, nightcappy uh, bedfellows, got home on Kappa Jack uh, a couple of months ago. And re-edit is the horse of interest into four dollars eighty. Of course, we lost the blue colours there, which must be upsetting in no end. Oh well, it was a beauty because it had none. But Brock Ryan re-edit, it's not an easy horse to ride this horse. He's not a great apprentice. No, he's not. I mean, he's learning he's his trade. I cheering. suppose, but that, that is, you know, it's quite delicious the fact that we get we get uh, given these conundrums. You know, you love the word delicious. I do. It's supposed to be used with food, <laughs> and food only. Even I know that. Well, don't you salivate over some of these races? I get what you mean. But... All right, speaking of conundrums, we discuss all things uh, racing and punting every week on The Ranch. We also do a midweek preview and a Saturday preview. Mounting Yard uh, from the course five minutes before each Sydney Metro race and sits from uh, from me each Sydney Metro meeting. They used to cost 80 bucks each. Uh, we now bundle everything up into $22 a week. The first two weeks are free. You're mad if you just don't come and try it and uh, and, and come and join us because uh, we love our punting, we love our racing and uh, we want to share it with you. So come and join us, we'd love to see you. Bye.